computer. And let me screen share and get the altar. Come on. Oh, it's verifying something about me. Come on. I want it open. There it is. Make it a little bigger. Come on. There we go. So what's unique about this, it's built on that Kabbalah tree that we studied last year. But this has all the chakra symbols. And that's what I was guided to put down. I've never seen that before with the chakra symbols. Wow. I know it. Yeah, I loved it. And I was um, also guided to put down um, my uh, four Reiki stones, the sacred symbols. They went in each corner. But that tree of life, that Kabbalah tree with the chakra symbols and then the moon in there, just it blew me away. That popped up, what's today? Yesterday, Sunday, that image emerged. I go down these rabbit holes. Don't ask me what gets me there. I don't know. I, I get this nudge and then I'm like, and I'm down a rabbit hole. I'm like, what's that? I've never seen that before. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, and then um, the Reiki stones. That's a first. The symbols. Mm. So it's a combination. It's a, it's a really powerful energetic altar. Um, and what I, so I'll go over, let me just see. The, um, what I loved was also that Shaki is dancing at the top and um it's time to dance again it's time to lighten your step connect with the divine feminine tap into all the spring energy and that moon the moon is all about lightening up again and this whole the whole theme of this was to release but in doing so, we change our vision, which is what the selenite triangle, the pyramid at the top is. It's a selenite um, uh, triangle, and it has the symbol of the philosopher's stone, but it has a heart. And what that was telling me was that, um, first of all, selenite, is um, very cleansing. It, com it cleanses the entire aura. It's connecting you to the energy of those who preceded you. It's a very divine energy. But what the message was that we need to start seeing again with our hearts and not just simply look with our eyes. It is time to have more vision from the heart. Because the, where is it here? The flowers, the calla lily is about resurrection and rebirth. And the cherry blossoms are to symbolize a time of renewal. And to remind us of the fleeting nature of life. And that's why so much, so we, this past year we lost so much time because of being locked down, because of being restrained. Um, and so much of what we were watching and paying attention to and putting our, our focus on all came through the eyes because it was news, it was medical updates, it was all 
heavy duty stuff about survival. So we, our focus came right out of our bodies and went just right to our head. It's time to bring it all back down. It's time to come back into our hearts and, and look at things with a softer gaze. And of course, the little lotus crown um, candle uh, there, and she's um, she's out. Part of her symbol is about illuminating our vision. So again, it's lifting lifting up the way we see things in a more pure, loving, kind way. Living in the light more. We've been living in the dark for a while because of the COVID and everything. It's time to come back to the light. The uh, chakra generator that's right in the middle is sending energy to all the chakra points at once. It's just like, so it's it's restoring, it's renewing, it's balancing all of them. And I did the same thing with the tuning fork. I, I focused on the heart chakra at the end and on the sacral chakra. And then I swept the entire, your entire body with the tuning fork, sweeping it and moving anything that shouldn't stay and pushing it off to spirit. The, um, Four Reiki symbols are for balance and healing. There's a piece of apophyllite on the candle side. It's right above um, a funny little um, um, pionite stone, silver stone. And um, the apophyllite encourages positivity. And it's an extremely high vibration stone. It's a real power stone for me. When I want to connect to my higher self, when I want really good guidance, when I when I really want to tap into my intuition, I put a piece of apophyllite on my forehead, and it's like, whoom. I start to get beautiful downloads. I start to get loving information, um, pure information, information that's free of judgment and ego. So the apophyllite is there for us, for all of us, to to help us with that that loving kindness, that those those loving thoughts, bringing down that pure, more trusting knowing that we all have. Pionite is the first time I've had it on an altar that I've done with you, and it's about attracting wealth. It encourages you to see your own worth so that you can manifest more of what you want in your life now. It's springtime. It's time to blossom. It's time to be out. It's time to grow and birth and renew and recharge. And the Pionite is to help you Shine your light on the opportunities that now present themselves for you. On the other side, there are two stones. One's a sunstone, which I love. It heightens intuition. It clears the chakras. And it allows your real self to shine through. So it's, again coming out, being you, being vibrant, feeling alive again, breathing and, you know, just expanding your energy because we've all been like this with masks on and locked up and not breathing and afraid to breathe. It's time. We, it's coming to come out and breathe and, exp and expand your field, expand your aura. And the stone um, below the sunstone is a fluorite hexagon. It's highly protective, also cleansing the entire aura, all layers of it. 
and it quickens your spiritual connection. So again, it's boosting, getting back into your higher self, your, your best wisdom. It's time to tap back into that. We've been living in our, we for the last year, we've been living in our first and second chakra, survival, family, um, you know, health, body. Now it's time to go to the bridge, to your heart, and to now up to your higher self, your fifth and sixth and seventh chakra. This is where this is where the best part of life really is. The survival is below the heart, but this is where the love, the beauty, the knowing, the joy, the bliss, this is this is where you create it from up here. It's time to get back up here. Um, and as I mentioned, Shakti, she's dancing. She wanted to be there and dancing, showing you it's time to recapture your bliss, to go for it. Um, also, I got a new deck of cards, Rumi by Elena Fairchild. And I pulled the card this afternoon, but I forgot to put it on the altar when I took the picture. Um, I just, I went to a, uh, matter of fact, when I was doing my tuning fork certification on Saturday, I went to a lovely little mystical shop and they had these and I hadn't seen the Rumi cards and I love Elena Fairchild decks. They're fabulous. So I shuffled the deck and um, I got this wonderful card. It's called the Human Gift. And it starts with a, a Rumi's poem. Oh heart, what is your excuse for all these blunders? Such loyalty is offered by the beloved, yet so much treason comes from you. Such kindness is offered by the beloved, yet so much defiance and resistance comes from you. Such grace is offered by the beloved, Yet so much fault and failure comes from you. Such attraction is offered by the beloved with sweetness and generosity. Yet such jealousy comes from you with so much doubt and suspicion. Do you bemoan your lack of faith? Do you berate yourself? blazing angel, because you have moments where you cannot bring yourself to trust in love more than you trust in fear. Do you lament and worry that you could or should be living in greater surrender? And yet, when is light more precious than when it arises from darkness? When is trust more admirable than when it involves an uncertain yet bold leap of faith? O oh, human angel, your path is perfection in the divine sense, not in some artificial absence of struggle, but in the wrestling of darkness and light that ignites the fire within your holy heart. So rise up now from your doubts and admonishments and let your human self be loved. Even for all the doubt, you are still a cherished one of the great beloved and always shall be. And then I just love this sacred honoring ritual that they recommend for this. So this is what you do. You place your hands on your heart and you're going to say, I'll, I'll read this and you can follow along. I love you. You're strong. This is what you're telling yourself. You're strong. You're brave. I'm, I'm going to read it all with I. I love you. I'm strong, I'm brave, I'm powerful, I'm gentle, I'm vulnerable and inspired. I am truth, I am insight, I am wisdom, I am life. I love you and you are safe. You are the divine made flesh. I am my precious heart, my precious connection to life. I adore you. Thank you for loving. Let me open the inner window, let the stale emotion out, and let me breathe in fresh life now, 
for I am to be well and thrive according to love's grace and wisdom. I trust in what I know and what I see. In compassion, I honor all perceptions of truth. So be it. Oh, pretty clear. Live in the light. Go out there and dance and feel the bliss and start to expand and start to move your energy back up here. You've been, you know, it's all, it's all been pushed down for so long because of the fear of the COVID and everything. We're all going to survive now. There's a vaccine. Whether you take it, you don't take it, there's going to be herd immunity. We're getting there. It's coming. Other parts of the world are still struggling terribly. So I send my deepest love and for India. I've been there, and the people are just so wonderful and so loving, and they're so spiritual and kind, and they're in just the worst state of affairs so hold them in your hearts they're they're in a bad way any questions about the author mel i missed who the picture is on the right yeah so the left is um that's me that's an angel that's a piece of artwork that somebody made for me and it's mary do you know Mary Klein? She's on Facebook. She was in one of Janet's programs, I think, once. Mm -hmm. She made that of me. That's that's my angel. That's physically me. Oh, and on the right is Pallas Athena, who's a very strong um, influence for me. Okay. She's um, one of my um, angels, one of my uh, guides. So um, what happens now is I have this sacred space set up, and I there's... Frida is still there. She didn't want to go away. And Venus is still over there. She wanted to stay. And Kuan Yin, there's a gorgeous statue of Kuan Yin over there. Um, so it's set up like that all the time. And then I just, the altars just come through, uh, you know, before the new moon and the full moon. So it's filled with like angels and, and goddesses. Mm. So that's Pallas Athena in the back. She's, very strong influence for me. Mm, thank you. But I love my angel that uh, Mary made me. It's just beautiful. Isn't she sweet? She's made yeah. out of wood. She makes them and sells them. Oh, okay. So what, her name is Mary Klein. She was um, in one of the classes with Janet. And she's she every day she has a beautiful water coloring with like a spiritual quote, a roomy... Um, Chopra, Wayne Dyer, I mean, always these beautiful little paintings. Well, she makes these angels and she made one that looked, she took, uh, she took my picture and, and did that. Hmm. She's also the one, I don't know if you ever saw the watercolor of me with Hannah meditating. <laughs> no, Hannah I haven't in my seen lap. That. She did that one too. And I just love it. I love it. I actually, I, I hired her to do that one. I'll look her up. I'll Google yeah. her. Yeah, I think her name, Mary, I'll tell you right now. Hold on. Make sure I got the right name right. Um, lovely, lovely soul. She's on the path like the rest of us. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Mary. Okay, I think it is. Mary Pressel Klein, C-L-I-N-E. She's an illustrator mixed media artist and a joy jumper hmm. and her artwork is sensational sensational this is today's and it says i don't know if you can see uh, wait a minute it says oh where it happened to where it go wait a minute it said oh wait a minute it's so cute very pressel klein today's was um my God, I hope you find love. And I don't just mean that in regards to someone you wrap your tired bones around at night. I mean that I hope you find love in every aspect of your life. I hope you find it tucked in to early morning sunrises and the smell of your favorite places. Look at 
picture. That's the kind oh, of I'll have to look her up. Oh, you've got to. It's wonderful. She's wonderful. Her work is beautiful. Is that her web, web page, site or, or Facebook page? That's her Facebook page. Um, and um, I'm sure I met her. I think I met her through Janet. I think she might have been in Lotus and Lily. This year? Not this year. No, a few years ago. Okay. I, this year was ago. my first year for that. Pardon me? This year was my was first, first year for oh, Lotus okay. and Lily. She was, I think, three or four years ago. Yeah. Okay. So. Just a quick little side note. How's Hannah? Is she recovering from her tooth surgery? Oh, she did. She, oh yeah, the, the poor little thing. The tooth cracked right in half. Mm -hmm. And I check her teeth every week. Um, and so I pulled back the gum. And when I did, the tooth went like this. Mm -hmm. It opened like a fan. I went, oh my God, if that breaks off, the nerve will be exposed. She'll get a terrible infection. So I called the doctor and they canceled um, two appointments of regular patients to so that they could do the emergency dental surgery on her. Um, and they, have, of course, had to extract it and she had stitches all in the back there, but she's fine now. Oh, good. She's actually in the front seat of the car right now because she was here. And then she decided she was going to stand and bark at me because I wasn't going to be touching her nonstop. And I said, she'll ruin the whole evening. So she's in the front seat of the car thinking that we're going for a ride. <laughs> That's where I put her. I don't think you're in a crate. I put her in the front seat of the car. She's sitting there in her dog bed. And she's like, oh, my God. I love Hannah. She thinks we're going out for a drive. Oh my gosh. And, and it's dark out there, so she goes to sleep and it's warm. So mm. I'll go out and pick her up and she'll be like, Did we go for a ride? She just okay. be like, Yes, Hannah, we went for a great yeah, ride. You love it. Drive. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love Hannah. I know she's so funny. Too. Oh, she is hysterical. Yeah. The I'll tell you, in the morning. When I'm trying to meditate, she's in my lap and her head, she's looking up at me and she's wiggling. I posted a picture of her the other day. I said, this is what you call a happy dog meditation day. And she was just like upside down and wiggling. She's very Zen, but she also wants me to be touching, acknowledging her that she's yeah. there. She's very spoiled. <laughs> yeah, very spoiled. Nice to see that some of the, you know, because they say that you should, you know, put yourself in a room so that there aren't any distractions for your meditation. I can't do that. I can't leave my cat away from the meditation. She likes Yeah. It. Yeah. And yeah. Hannah, Hannah wants to be pressed next to me, but tonight she, she was barking and I knew she was probably going to start barking midpoint. And I said, that's just going to disrupt everything. I'd love to know what she has to say. <laughs> It's like, you pay attention to me. Right. Don't be setting this up for them. <laughs> you, you go get my stuffed pig and let's play, lady. You've been <laughs> occupied all day and you were on that Zoom thing for two hours. And every time I'm on Zoom, she has to get on. Oh, that's, that's so funny. She's at my side. She wants to see <laughs> who I'm meeting with. And once she sees who everybody is, then she's okay. I can put her down. But when I started Zoom, well, I wasn't going to have this going. I had, as I, I mentioned to Jen, I'm, a lawsuit that was finally the case course. The course, the case was finally called. So I was on a Zoom with the I'm the plaintiff. So I was on with the mediator, the defendant, the defendant's attorney. I said, you know, I can't have Hannah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not going to go over well. <laughs> you know. So was she back in the car? She's back in the car. So she's been in the car in and out today several times. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know. I know. That's funny. Yeah. She's so anyway. associating Zoom with the car. Pardon me? She's going to start associating Zoom with the car. Yeah. And car is going to start making the car. connection. Oh, I know what this means. She's turned that thing on. Uh-oh. Go start running and hiding, and then I won't be able to put her in the car. She doesn't mind it, though. She She's always, always loved the car from the time she was a baby. 
and she sits, I have a furry bed out there, and she sits in there, and she's all curled up, and yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. So, oh, little Hannah. Well, let me stop the share. Hold on. Okay, come on. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Got to go down here, I think. Uh, stop. No, it's right here. Stop share. Yeah. Good to see you, ladies. This Thank you beautiful. so much. Thank man. you. Uh, our pleasure. I'll see you on the new moon. A couple of nice weeks. to see everyone. Yeah. Don't yep. forget to put your water out. Yeah, I'm gonna go do this that is now. A really good moon for the water. Bye. Thank oh, you. The moon is huge. It's right behind. I can't wait to see it. it. Huge. Oh, I'm so God. excited. Oh my god, it's so fabulous. It's unbelievable. I love, I love it when people get as excited as I do when I see it. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <gasps> it's a lot darker there than here. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Shining through the trees. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's it beautiful. is beautiful. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. Wow. Beautiful. I'm gonna go look and put my water out. I, I gotta go take some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Good oh. night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you.